Hello guys, I'm Lee and welcome back to the Barham Engines channel. So, little run over of what we've got going on today and the progress in the workshop. This is the small turbo escort Cosworth engine. We are still waiting for a few blitz to come back from the platers. And once we've done that, we can get it timed up and just finished off. But you see Carlos here as stripped right back, painted and lacquered the, the rocker cover. And that looks absolutely lovely. Um, the color is Ford something silver. Yeah, it looks absolutely fresh as anything. Um, these rocker covers go over time with the heat and what have you. They go a little bit yellowy and look a bit naff. And that is, um, once we get all those stuff, you know, all that stuff back from the platers, that's going to look absolutely lovely. Uh, the other two Cosworths, we're still waiting for a couple of bits there from the platers also. And then we can get those timed up and on their way. We've got the Jaguar 4.2 block up on the boring bar. I'm just going to check to see what sizes are available and then I'm going to get this one bored out. Hopefully it looks like it's going to clean at half mil. So hopefully those pistons are available and we can get that sorted. So I've just got a little job here. My customer's just bought one piston in for me to, I think he's running high lift cams on this. This is a turbo motor. It's a Renault Clio. Um, Renault Clio sport engine that's turbocharged and all we've got to do is just put the, the exhaust cutouts in this piston here I think he's just changing one um, so that's a little job for me right guys so it's balancing day of the, uh, of the Renault 5 turbo crank the video you all been waiting for to see whether taking the weight off the counterweights there is going to make a massive difference to the balance as it is so what we're going to do is um, spin it up this pulley here is absolutely true um, it was run on the other crankshaft and so we've we've put that on because what we don't want to do is have to take this off and sort of disturb it if we balance it just in case um, so we're going to spin this up now and actually see how far it is out on either side right so there we go guys we've spun it up release the right hand lever so it can just float and um and see where the balance is and if you can see up there the angle is 280 degrees and the amount is 10 which is next to nothing really so removing that weight so far on that end has made hardly any difference so we're just going to see whereabouts that is out so 280 degrees set there and it's out on this plane. So we're just gonna remove a bit of material off there. So as you can see, these are the existing holes here. The two holes there, which are, which were the balance holes beforehand, but obviously by removing material off there, we've removed half of the hole by the looks of it. So we've drilled these two holes, and if we spin it up, release the lever, see we are down to zero and the, and the angle is sort of wobbling about so that is in balance so now we're just going to go and check the other end all right so we spin that up release the lever and we're at about 15 at 270 degrees there so we'll just have a look to see where that's out the chances are it's probably on that web that we move material from so we'll spin it up again you can see now it is on the zero the angle gauge waggling about a bit if i show you exactly where i've removed material from remove material from there and there that is the existing hole and so are these so yeah it just looks like by removing or putting a tape on there it's removed half of the the existing or the old balance hole so we just had to basically put that back in there yeah not too bad at all now we're going to check the the flywheel 
Right, so we've put the flywheel on now. And um, what we normally do with the flywheels, although the flywheel is in effect sort of doweled on there, it's located on there with a dowel, you, c you can't really guarantee that it's an exact fit on there. It's only got to be one or two thou of sort of movement on here. So what I normally do is set the crank up at TDC, number one and four, up the top, and then put the flywheel on then. And it's sort of, if it falls, I mean, it's, I've been over-dramatizing it, but as it sits on the, on the crank like that, it only has to be a thou, but then you know, whenever you take the flywheel off and put it back on, do it with the crank up at TDC, and you know it's gonna sit in exactly the right area or the right location. So we put that flywheel on now. I'm gonna spin this up and see how much it's out. Help it on its way a bit. So we'll set this one on left, L to left, right. Right is that one, left is that one. And we're up at 30 on the amount. Two twenty, two twenty-five on the angle. So two two five, and that is the plane. It's out. We're just going to drill a hole in the side here at two two five. Right, so we've drilled one little hole in the front. Set the clutch cover off. Alright, so the final bit, put the clutch cover on. Again, same as the flywheel. And put it on up TDC. Not that it makes much difference on the on the clutch, but it's always good practice. That's what we do. So we're gonna spin this up now and see how far it's out. So 11 is 110 there, and it's out on this angle. So we are going to drill a very small hole just here. Slight more. There we go. Bang on. Angles all over the place. That's perfectly balanced. So that's it. And as you can see, it weren't too bad at all by taking material off there. It was just literally because we machined half the existing holes away we had to just replace them jobs are good and so there we go so the crank assembly is all together now all ready for carlos to um ship over to portugal whenever he gets all the rest of his bits done but as you can see um taking the weight off these webs here doesn't really affect the balance all it's done really by affecting the balance is just where we've carved into the old holes but uh, apart from that um that thing should be absolutely fine now to run providing obviously we balance the the rods and the pistons um that thing should be absolutely fine um as i say we we've done plenty of these in the past on you know fairly high revving engines and we've they don't seem to have ever had any issues um you know but but yeah there we go a lot lighter now i think with the with the fly with the weight off the flywheel and off the crank you're probably down about eight kilos on the whole lot which is quite a lot should be quite free revving 
um, yeah, there we go. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Remember to smash that subscribe button and comment down below on anything that you um, feel you need to comment on. And um, I'll see you in another video. Thanks a lot, guys.